be on Show Master Lee. And Lulu. All right. One of the fans who, uh, who've been following us because of Ian Tonga has been recommending this other Hawaiian singer, Justin Young. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know, we want to explore more Hawaiian music here. <laughs> this guy's been around. He's uh, 40 some years old. He's got a song called One Foot on Sand. And, you know, this came out like 10 years ago. So, you know, be the first time we're listening to it. But uh, we need to build up our Spotify list for island music and yes. uh, everything that y'all recommend. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. Wow. All right, so this is the acoustic version here. Well, so what is this about this Justin guy? Uh, let's see. American singer, contemporary Hawaiian music. Wait a minute. He had a fiance, Kobe Caldet. Oh, what? You love her music. What? And he opened up for Cassandy Pope and Hey Monday. Wait a minute. Then fiance. Are they not married? Oh, they've broken up recently. They were oh, together wow. for a long time. Were they married though? They're, they never been married. They were end of the engagement in a ten year relationship. Wow, oh. that's a long engagement. Well, I would say she left it because she and he never proposed, but they were about to get married. So something, yeah, something happened. Oh wow, I don't know. some drama here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what his music like, but uh, let's see. He plays a keyboard, guitar, ukulele. Wait a minute, did his that? mom live in Saudi Arabia? Because I grew up in Saudi Arabia. Is that the school you went to? No, the one I went to was in Dahran. Riyadh's on the actually other side of the country. Oh. But how interesting. I wonder if he actually grew up in Saudi Arabia then. It's not much about him on his wiki, so if y'all know anything about him. I'm just curious because uh, there aren't that many people who uh, lived or work in Saudi Arabia. But Saudi Arabia actually did, for a good number of decades, had a lot of people from around the world come live and work there as they were building you know, the oil companies there. So my family went there. We lived mm -hmm. there for a good number of years. I, mean, I grew up in the desert. Ironically enough, we're now living in the desert again here in Las <laughs> Vegas. So maybe that's why I crave island life so much because I'm always stuck in the desert. Maybe. Maybe. All right, let's check this out. I'm real curious now about this song, y'all. Let's do this. Let's do it. Uh, by the way, if you want to hear some Wicked Wild stories, you got to check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. Looks very young here. Great voice. Sense of freedom over the sea. But I watch my home get further from me. Sometimes I reach to meet the clouds. But I always keep one foot on ground. My horizons name, but not so coded, sometimes lonely. My eyes are open, so much to see. Sometimes they long for familiarity and away on distant lands. I always keep one for on sand oh. Appreciation has grown. One more water, smaller pond. 
but some painting still circle on. Sometimes I reach to me the clouds, but I always keep one foot on ground. And away on distant lands, always keep one foot on sand. Oh, I know I make you a lot of noise. How are you? A lot of noise. Aloha nui, Hawaii. Aloha no e kuu one hanau e hanau e. Aloha e, aloha e hanau e. Aloha. I love the rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> the version here that he plays is just dreamy. His voice is dreamy. It's yes. perfect for a song like this. And I, I could see Kobe and him. I know. That's He's why they're very, like probably. You yeah. Know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now I'm so curious, like, what, what happened? Because he seems like a real nice guy. Right. Um, he's, I mean, he's clearly very handsome. Yeah, tall, handsome. Mm. You know what I noticed? Mm. I love his tats. In fact, I was just thinking, oh, man, if I, if I ever go back Tried. to I want to finish my, my tats. I only got it down up here. Oh, but my I, God. I'm, I'm you need get to be a Hawaiian first. It's for you to do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to get the tattoo in Hawaii, you know, Hawaiian style. Right, but you have to be Hawaiian within first, like within, in your heart. In my heart? <laughs> or be a Hawaiian. Okay, yeah. You can't just, like, put that all over your body. That's, no, it has to be. Cheating? <laughs> Because it's a tribe. It's a. It's you a know, like the the way they culture. actually get tattoos in Hawaii is painful as hell. I mean, I, I don't know if I would go that route. <laughs> you mean the manual? Like yeah, the where they're like pam yeah. pam pam with a hammer with needles through you. Right. Yeah, I heard that it's so painful yeah, that, that you go Philippines through like a, a euphoric experience. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> Polynesian thing. The, oh my god! Mm, I don't know if I want that kind of pain. I don't like pain. Oh golly! <laughs> Although I don't remember this being painful when I got it for whatever reason it was like it went fast and you know and either wow, way I, that really was good. great yeah, yeah. I, and was i great. love the and I, I love the i love the <laughs> no wait wait wait, wait, wait you I love, love baby. the hawaiian part language oh yeah that part where he's doing like the little riff hawaii hello uh, kai, hi. Kai, hi, uh what is he saying i don't know <laughs> yeah that was a beautiful run i want to hear the original now like how distinctly different it is from the acoustic all right, thanks for your recommendation. And yeah, hey, that was lovely. You want more? These are things we never would have discovered otherwise. Aloha, y'all.